Welcome back to part two of solving non homogeneous equation with conditions. So let's jump right to it. If you remember from last part, we were given the equation, the conditions, and then the homogeneous solutions. So we can just go ahead and just jump straight into the the particular portion of the solution. So as we can see that our function f of t is equal to cosine of t and that our homogeneous solution has the sine and cosine. So that means we have to multiply our particular solution by t because we have it in the form of a cosine of t plus b sine of t. So we multiply everything by t. Then we have to take the derivative, thus giving a cosine of t plus b sine of t plus t times negative a sine of t plus b cosine of t. And then the second derivative will be negative a sine of t plus b cosine of t plus negative a sine of t plus b cosine of t plus t times negative a cosine of t minus b sine of t. So we plug this into the equation, we'll be getting ooh, <laughs> negative t a cosine of t minus b t sine of t minus 2a sine of t plus 2b cosine of t and then the plus y so plus at cosine of t plus bt sine of t and that will be equal to cosine of t and so right here we can eliminate the negative ta and then the negative bt thus leaving us with negative 2a, let me actually write this down, negative 2a sine of t plus 2b cosine of t equaling to cosine of t, making a equal to 0 because there's no sine, and b being 1 half. And so our solution will be equal to the homogeneous portion, so C1 cosine of t plus C2 sine of t plus our particular solution would be t times a is 0, so the cosine does not exist, so it would be t times, actually it would be t over 2 sine of t. And so now for the, I guess, easier part is taking or plugging in the initial condition, so finding C1 and C2. So when y is equal to 0, we will get that, we'll just get c1, which will be equal to 1. And when we take the derivative, we will get negative c1 sine of t, c2 cosine of t, plus t over 2 cosine of t. And so we plug it in, negative 1. So we plug in y prime of 0, we will get... 0, c2, oh wait, I messed up because this is the product rule, plus 1 half uh, sine of t. And so again, when we plug y prime is equal to 0, we will get c2 is equal to negative 1. Yeah, so we should get c2 is equal to negative 1, thus having our entire solution being cosine of t minus sine of t plus t over 2 sine of t and so that will be our solution so we'll go ahead and do the last question for this example so for the last question of this example we have a third derivative of y so that's nice uh, we also see that our function has a t and e to negative t which is not similar to that one, which is similar to the tc2 and then c3e to the negative t. And so again, we are going to split our particular solution to being two functions. So y1 of t plus y2 of t, in which it will be equal to t 
10 plus e to the negative t. Actually, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. We need to put in our constants. So at plus b plus c e to the negative t. Now, because t and e to the negative t are similar to what's on our homogeneous system, we have to multiply d each one by t raised to some power of s. And so to determine what our power is, it has to be the minimum number. So for the c equals e to the negative t, just leaving t to the first power should be more than enough. However, if we do t to the first power for the at plus b, you'll get at squared plus bt, and bt will be, again, still similar to this portion here, the tc2. So we're gonna have to square our t, and that will be our function. This will now give us our particular solution to being at cubed plus b t squared plus c t e to the negative t. So when we take the derivative, we have to take three, yep, three. So y prime is equal to three a t squared plus two b t plus c e to the negative t minus c t e to the negative t. The second derivative, will just be 6at plus 2b minus 2ce to negative t plus cte to the negative t. And then our third derivative will be 6a plus 3ce to negative t minus cte to negative t. So now we have to plug it into the original equation, which is only the third and second derivative giving us 6a, they're all added, okay, cool. So 6a plus 3ce to the negative t minus cte to the negative t plus 6at plus 2b minus 2ce to the negative t plus cte to the negative t equaling to t plus e to the negative t. So right here, we can eliminate the negative cte to the negative t and then we can group 6a plus 2b and then this will just be plus 6at that one's done that one's done that one's done then minus minus plus plus c e to the negative t again equaling t plus e to the negative t so now we can find what our solutions are so we know that 6a plus 2b must be equal to zero, 6at must be equal to t, and then ce to the negative t must be equal to e to the negative t. So this puts c, which is the most obvious one, uh, being one, and then a being one six, and then b will be six times six, negative one half. So this puts our general solution to be y is equal to c1 plus c2t plus c3e to the negative t plus 1 over 6t cubed minus 1 half t squared plus te to the negative t. So that's going to be annoying because we have to plug in the, or we have to take the derivative. But before we do that, we can find when y is equal to 0. And so I believe that is equal to C1 plus C3, C1 plus C3, and that is equal to one. Taking the derivative, we will get, I'm actually highlight this part, I won't forget where it is. Taking the derivative, we get C2 plus minus E C3 negative T plus T2 times, or, t squared over 2 minus t plus t e to not plus e to the negative t minus t e to the negative t. And I think that's right. I should be right. Okay, so now that we have the first derivative, we're just going to plug in y prime of 0. So that's going to be equal to c2 minus c3. Everything goes to 0 plus 1 is equal to zero, so I'm just gonna move the one on the other side. So it'll be negative one. Taking the second derivative, we get C3 
e to the negative t plus t minus 1 plus, not plus, minus 2. Wait, I need to take the derivative. Whoops, I'm over here plugging. Okay, plus t minus 1 minus 2 e to the negative t plus t e to the negative t. Put in the second derivative, y double prime is equal to 0. We'll get c3 minus 3, and that's equal to 1, making c3 equaling to 4. So this means that c2 will be negative 3. No, that's a lie. It will be equal to positive 3. And then c1 will be equaling to negative 3. Yeah, that makes our solution to be equaling negative 3 plus 3, not 3x, t plus 4e to the negative t plus 1 over 6t cubed minus 1 half t squared plus te to the negative t. But yeah, that's it for this example. That's it for this lecture. So I'll see you guys in the next video.